Right here, I'm now on the West Coast in order to see and help the people of California pass Proposition 61 <laughs> so that we can begin to take on the pharmaceutical industry who are ripping off the American people every single day. Uh, what does 61 say? What 61 says is that the state agencies in California should not pay anything more for prescription drugs than the Veterans Administration, which uh, pays the lowest prices in the country. And isn't this really the key to getting single-payer any time in this country? I mean, they tried single-payer in your state of Vermont, and it couldn't work because until you cap how much the gougers can charge, the pharmaceutical companies and the hospitals, we're going to have more EpiPens and more Martin Shkreli's. Well, look, the drug industry, and I have to say this, uh, you know, you got one out of five people now who, when they get a prescription from a doctor, they can't even afford to buy that prescription because right. the prices are so high. You got elderly people in Vermont, they're cutting their, their pills in half because they can't afford the medicine. People are dying in this country and they're getting sick because they can't afford the medicine. And these guys in the pharmaceutical industry, in my humble opinion, are crooks. They made the top five, <laughs> the top five companies last year, Bill made $50 billion in profit. CEOs rake in enormous compensation packages and yet people, you know, can't afford the medicine they need. That's not the way it's So right. what we have to do is cap how much people should charge, right? Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, that... Well, what you have to do is what every other major country on earth does. Right. That is negotiate prices. And what we have now, the pharmaceutical industry has 1,400 lobbyists in Washington, D.C. They have spent a billion dollars or three billion dollars since 1988 just on lobbying. All right? These guys have enormous power. They own the political parties. And what we have got to do is the American people say, you know, enough is enough. Uh, we are going to control your prices. We're going to negotiate prices with you. Back in the 1990s, I took a busload of women uh, from the state of Vermont to Montreal, Canada, to with buy Billy breast... Bush? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> to buy uh, prescription drugs for breast cancer. Back then, they paid one tenth the price that they were paying here in the United States for breast cancer. I mean, that's insane. Yeah. We pay the highest prices in the world for our medicine. Yeah. We got to deal with those but issues. Don't, don't you think that, that capping the prices may hurt innovation and new drugs no, coming in? That's, that's what bullshit, the, right? It, it is bullshit. They spend far more yes, money. That, that is what they... They spend far more... Give you an example. <laughs> innovation money. They're spending, as I understand it, $100 million right here in California to beat this proposition. $100 million. Last year, the CEOs of the top 10 companies made over $300 million. They made $50 billion in profit. They spend a lot more in marketing and advertising than they do in research development. Hey, finally...